one of the tactics that I've developed playing with randoms and playing with people that I don't know and playing with people that treat me poorly based on my gender is um, when they make a joke that they think is funny. Oh, don't be offended. It's just a joke, lady. It's just a joke. And then somebody's like, well, if a male says, okay, that's not funny and you shouldn't say that to her just because she's a woman. And then that person who I'm perceiving as the toxic person will say something like, okay, that's when the S word comes out, right? That's when the, oh, you're like, you know, the white knighting, this and that. So a tactic that I've developed is just to say to the person, to say their joke back to them and say, oh, I don't know why it's funny. Explain to me why that's funny. Tell me what the joke is. What's the joke? I will give the microphone to my guest tonight. I will give you all one minute if you want to one to one to two minutes. Uh, just tell the audience who you are, what your experience with the game is. Uh, don't jump into the topic right now, so because we have plenty of time to jump into the topic. And make sure to tell everyone where they can find you uh, if they like what you have to say tonight. So, Alindra, if you want to go first, the floor is yours. Hello, my name is Alindra. I hail from Canada, and I discovered Project Winter in 2019 thanks to a little news article about Canadian games, and I was like, that sounds cool. So I looked it up, and I started playing, and and here I still be. So that is me. Hello. And I guess you can find me at... Um, I'm a quiet. I can hear um, you. On Twitch at Alindra. Twitch at Alindra. Do you stream often? I stream every Wednesday and Saturday for sure. Usually Project Winter. And then I stream when I can on top of that as a little bonus when I'm available to. Awesome. Thanks for that for that intro. Ash, if you want to go. Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm Ash, also in-game Sailor Jade. Um, I've been playing for a little over a year. I feel like what's time with the pandemic um i have you know kind of made my little community in um project winter that i kind of just stick by and i'm super excited about this topic so that's all i have to say you can't find me on social media so don't try <laughs> Awesome. Alindra, we are going to come back to you after that because sadly uh, the audio on my hand was not loud enough and I think uh, most people did not hear what you had to say. So I will sadly have you repeat your intro and I feel already so bad about it. Uh, Olushi. That's okay. Me? Yeah, well, are you Olushi? I don't know, am I? Are you? I Maybe, I think so. I'll, I'll fill in for her anyway. Um, so... I am on every platform at Halushi. I try to stream um, when I can. Um, it, it'll be at least once a week. I don't know which day. You can join the Discord and find out. Um, I stream Project Winter, Terraria, um, sometimes Overwatch. I'm getting into League, sadly. Um, so there's going to be a lot of League content. Um, but yeah, any platform Halushi. Excellent. We have a newcomer. Well, at least we have two newcomers tonight. Alindra is joining us for the first time, but also Nikki365. So, Nikki, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. Um, Well, I'm Nikki. You can find me on Twitch at Nikki365. Um, I play a lot of Dead by Daylight, and I play a multitude of things, but mainly Dead by Daylight. <laughs> And what's your experience with uh, Project Winter? Well, you know what? I, 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 I'm going to keep that for later because I think this okay. is a this is the point of your presence here tonight, right? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> awesome. Real Deal TLC, veteran of the show, has been there a lot of times so far. Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah, I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm Real Deal TLC, and um, you can find me on Twitch under Real Deal TLC. I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and sometimes Sundays in the evening, about 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And uh, when did you start playing the game? About a year ago. A year ago? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, Tentacle. Most of you probably know Tentacle. She's working really hard with me and Pizza on uh, getting this show on the road. So Tentacle is here as a debater for, the, well, as a participant, I would say, tonight for the first time. So thanks for joining us, Tentacle. Thanks for joining on the other side, on the other side of the fence tonight. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. It's a little weird being on this side. Uh, but hi, guys. I'm Tentacle PS, uh, soon to be streaming on Twitch. So 
look out for that. Uh, and I've been playing Project Winter, I think it's been about five months or so now. Don't quote me on that, but roughly around that time. Excellent. Uh, and, well, I'm Asparagus Dykery. I'm the host of the show. I'm also a Project Winter streamer, like most people in here. So that's pretty much all I have to say tonight. This show is not about me. So we've been doing the all the info so far. Oh, uh, Alindra, I'm very sorry if you want to go ahead to uh, introduce yourself again. Uh, uh, my fault. We didn't have audio for, for you. That's okay. Hi, I'm Alindra. I've been playing Project Winter since about 2019. I discovered Project Winter on a Canadian uh, news article about Canadian games, and I wanted to check it out because I hail from the frozen, horrible, cold part of Canada, and it resonated with me. So that's why I started playing. And you can find me. <laughs> you can find me at uh, Twitch.tv/Alindra. Thank you so much. So, guys in chat, just to repeat, we have a giveaway going on right now. So, if you want to give a chance to win a copy of Project Winter on PC or a copy of Blackout, if you already have Project Winter, make sure to enter the giveaway right now. The giveaway will be open in a few minutes. It is open at this time. So, make sure you type exclamation point PPPD giveaway and you will have your chance to win a copy of the game. That being said, if you have questions for debaters and participants tonight, make sure you tag me or Pizza in chat at uh, Asparagus or at Pizza, and we will be asking all these questions to our guests. Uh, by the way, just for a uh, show of hand, how many of you are Canadians tonight? Okay, uh, not not as much as I not as much as I uh, thought. Okay, so. <laughs> I will stand back right now. This is not my discussion. We are here. Well, they are here to discuss if Project Winter is a welcoming community for women. Right. Ash is the one who brought this idea to me a few weeks ago. And uh, she was very, very uh, happy about uh, this idea being discussed. So I will let you go. I have a few questions that I've prepared that I will not jump into these questions right now. I will only jump if I feel we need to or if we need to refocus the discussion. Otherwise, the floor is completely yours for the next 35 minutes before we take a break. So, Ash, if you want to start ball running, go ahead. Yeah, um, so I I was in um, the Pot Pie, Pal, Pot Pie Pals Discord, and I had gotten the notification of, hey, we do a debate. Uh, what's a topic? And this was the first topic, and the only topic I put in, because it's one that I have just constantly been thinking about since I kind of started playing the games. I, I'll talk to my female friends about. And, um, you know, it was just one where I, I only had like a couple female friends in the game and just to be able to talk about it with others um, was like such an intriguing idea. Um, and I think, uh, Asparagus, you also had um, asked me, well, why does this topic specifically affect project winter because there's a lot of games that i think you know involve women and if they are really included or not and i think i i think i found a better answer than the one i gave you and i think it's because in a lot of uh first person shooter games you know you're just calling out um what's happening while in my opinion with Project Winter, you have to come up with strategy, you have to come up with ideas, and there's a lot of leadership. Um, and I don't think, in my opinion, I don't think there's a lot of men who will listen to my ideas or my strategies. Of course, there are you know, other players who do, other men who do, but I think a large part of it is people don't listen to me. You know, I'll say something and I'll just kind of be swept under the rug and it will be their idea first. And it's kind of I, frustrated me. Go ahead. I, I completely agree with you. Like, um, going into like a random lobby is very different from going into a, a lobby with people that I know because I can't get people to come follow me to open a bunker because they don't listen to the woman, right? So... I end up just by myself at the cabin crafting out parts because I can't get anybody to work with me on an objective. So I'll ask you, why are you 
alone at the uh, cabin, right? Yeah, exactly. And then they'll start blaming <laughs> me for being traitor. I'm like, how do you think all these parts got in there? Who do you think fixed first, single-handedly crafting every single part while you guys bullshit and run around the map? <laughs> I remember days ago I had an opposite experience where people are uh, very keen to help or or will will make bargains to help, such as a real life example was I will maybe come help save you if I can have your Snapchat. Oh God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, that's happened to me. I have a clip of it. <laughs> <laughs> And, and you know, the whole, I, I've had it to where, you know, I'll ask someone to help me or someone will be like helping me and following me. And then a random player will be like, what a, I don't know, wait, is SIMP able, are we able to still say that on? Okay. So they'll just say, what a simp. And I'm like, we're playing a game. I don't, I'm, I need someone to follow me to open this like bunker to do this objective. I don't. If I was follow look, I was... you just to kill you. <laughs> or yep. or I've been murdered just for talking right in the beginning and having a female female voice. Just yep. cut down. And I'm sitting here like why? <laughs> and only me, only targeting me. So the whole the rest of that game I'll just sit and make pot pies to heal myself. Be like, you know what, I don't even want to help. It's it's so mm -hmm. frustrating. Another thing that uh, really gets on my nerves is, sorry, um, is when a male is actually working with you, they get called a white knight for trying to defend you because you're doing the objective, you're doing what you're supposed to as a survivor. They get called a white knight for trying to let you live. I, I hate that. Despise it. There you find a decent human being. Oh, God. No. Yeah. I think some of my personal experience um oh geez i guess like if it's okay if i'd like to share so i started playing project winter about three years ago so 2019 the player base was really really tiny like sometimes you would sit for like an hour for a lobby because the player base was quite small and i want to say as an answer to the question like the broad topic of the title of the stream and the title of this podcast is is the project winter community accepting for women and in general I'd say absolutely the community in general is absolutely accepting towards women and I see a lot of the really shitty behavior that can sometimes happen in these games get shut down by other people in the game I play more often with people that I know because I have accrued a robust friends list because I have been playing Project Winter for so long and I was always very picky with who I would add to my to my list is whether I knew and then I also did befriend women a lot and things like that and allies and people and things so when I would end up in random lobbies and when I'm getting to know people that's when I notice that toxicity kind of toxicity towards women or female presenting people will increase and go up and in preparation for this debate um, I went back and I found a reddit post that I made three years ago of day three of me playing Project Winter where I felt sexually victimized in a game that was so upsetting that I was crying. I swore myself off that I would never play this game again because when I felt like, as a new player in the game with my first experience, when I went to, I found the Discord. So I went to Reddit to get the Discord to find the stuff so that I could report what had happened because I found it vile because I was, I'm an older adult and for me, I was able to get over it and equate it to just systemic toxicity and people being shitty. But I was worried about younger women and younger girls coming into the game and coming onto the internet where that kind of behavior is, in my opinion, like predatory and really icky. And I had a fundamental problem with that. So me, with the type of person I am, I wanted to fix the problem. So I went to the Discord. And at that point in time, with the person that I dealt with, I felt dismissed. So I eventually went and made um, a post about it on, on, on Reddit because when I explained what had happened uh, in, in great detail, um, 
the the person that I spoke to at that point in time said that the person who I claimed did that to me was a well-known member of the community and they couldn't believe that they did that and it was my word versus his and so no action was going to be taken unless I had video proof which I did not have because I had a much different computer that was just coming back into gaming I hadn't played games in years and uh um, I don't know what's happening. So I got distracted by chat and now my brain is broken. <laughs> I'm going to just going to slide this over that. Um, okay. Where was I? My brain totally broke. Your computer didn't set up your, um, like, can I didn't even know that that was a thing that you could do. That shadow play was a thing. I had no idea. And that really emboldened me to actually start streaming because I was like, if I have to have video evidence of people being toxic shitbags and misogynistic, horrible assholes towards women, then I'm going to record every single interaction that I have because that's a problem. And at that point in time, with the way it was handled, I didn't think it was fair that in order for there to be somebody be reprimanded for that type of behavior, that the onus was on me to record and report it. Otherwise, it didn't happen because to me, that was very uh, rape culture -y. Like he said, she said, we don't believe you, even though other people that were in the match with me were so upset by that game that they also went and said, no, what she's saying is true. Like I had allies. And then like the next day I was playing in a Project Winter game and one of the people was in the lobby like, hey, I remember I was in that game. Are you OK? Because that was horrible. And I was like, if that random person remembers, then this is a problem. So that was an early experience me when the community was very, very tiny and things were different and everything was different. And yes, I felt dismissed. However, as I gained allies and as I continued to play Project Winter and things like that and invest myself into the game, I really, really, really believe that the developers and the community managers and the moderators of Project Winter have worked really, really hard to make changes and have improved a lot of those features and I have never heard that whole he said she said business again I feel like it's taken more seriously and you're not always have to have video evidence although it does help but I think that that culture has changed a lot it has evolved a lot over the last three years so that was just one really really bad experience that kind of almost made me walk away from the game but I didn't think that was fair that I was going to lose out on playing the game that I genuinely loved because of a few crappy people. And it's hard being a female gamer. Like I'm I'm in my late 30s. I have been a gamer my entire life. I have gone all the way from playing old school World of Warcraft and dealing with that all the way up until now and I think that the culture has really improved and it has changed and it is better for women than what it was but there's still a lot of like systemic misogyny in games and that's kind of my my speech so uh yeah. tentacle and Nikki uh, do you have anything you want to add to this point uh well um I discovered the game through a larger streamer back in maybe 2020 and I fell in love with the graphics it looks like a storybook like a pop-up book so I couldn't wait to play it so when it came to uh, Xbox that's when I started playing it um it was horrible it was I mean I get it twofold right I'm a woman and I'm also black so I got it from two sides and you know it was a game I wanted to stream but it was so much, what's the word for it? The, um, I'm gonna say toxicity uh, was off the charts and there was just no way I could I could stream and enjoy the game. It just wasn't, it, it wasn't a good time. So I kind of slacked off. I, I don't stream it now, to this day I don't stream Project Winner, but I can say that it is much better than it was. I still run into people who they hear your voice and they're just weird and follow you around and say, you know, off the wall things to you. And then when you don't respond in kind, it's it's a whole big thing. So I just leave the lobbies. Um, it, it's hard to find people to play with. I mean, if you don't play with a group jumping into random lobbies, you don't know what you're gonna get. Um, and from my experience, just from playing say 
you know, I'm a Gears of War fan. I liked Call of Duty, you know, years ago. And you expect that in those fast paced, adrenaline fueled games, you know, you kill somebody, you get mad, you talk trash, move on. Well, Project Winner, when you kill someone, you have to chop them down and it takes a long time and they get to call you every name from A to Z <laughs> as you're doing mm-hmm. it. And the, the things they say are very female specific and it is a grudge that will carry over to the next match. I mean, it's something about ge- being killed by a female as opposed to being killed by a male and just the words that are used and the the venom that they spit is, it, it makes it not fun. So, um, and I will say the other thing is sometimes in lobbies, you have people that it's the reaction of the other guys in the lobby. Um, if I respond with something vile, you know, it's distasteful for a woman to say things like that, but people won't stop men from saying something vile to a female, you know? So that's the other thing that I've run into also. So I've, I've just noticed something you just said, Nikki, and I want to come back to this. Uh, I think you've put a point on one of the difference between this game and other games because we, we all agree this sadly this is something that happens in many different games is one of the biggest difference right here is that like as you said it takes a while to get someone down when you 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 kill someone you need to stay with them for like 15 20 seconds make sure they're down continue and receive potential abuse as on other game it's kind of instantly and you deal with it it's done and next you, you go to the next one it feels more personal and instead of being a generalized statement in a personal way, it's usually a generalized uh, statement related to the fact that related to your gender and that I know that there's lots of bullies and toxicity towards men as well, but people aren't necessarily telling you that you're a piece of shit because you're a man or that they don't give a shit what you have to say because you're a man. And that is a different thing because um often your gender specifically is brought into the toxicity so instead of it being toxicity in general which also sucks the toxicity is directed towards you in a different way based on your gender and they'll make points to speak about your gender and i think that's the difference between generalized toxicity and toxicity towards women yeah i mean there's a lot of times where people are you know saying that i'm like say like i'm a traitor but i'm not right and then, like, the one person who wants to, like, save me, they get called a simp, right? And then, like, everybody is calling that guy a simp. And they're like, okay, I don't want to be a simp. So they go ahead and kill me, right? And it's like, you wouldn't be saying this to begin with if I was equipped with, like, the male anatomy, right? I have never heard a man be told, I'll pick you up if you give me your Snapchat. I've never heard yeah. somebody say that to a man ever in a Project Winter game. And I have played thousands and thousands of Project Winter games. Because like I said, 2019. That's a long yeah. time. Mm-hmm. I don't know. For me, like, um, I think overall, like, once you get deep into the community, you, like, build up these relationships. I feel like it is, like, very welcoming and, like, good and fun, right? But then there's, like, when you're on the outside and you're, like, just getting your footing it can be really discouraging. I know Alindra just spoke about, you know, a time where she was very upset. And I think a lot of us have had those experiences in the first couple of days. I didn't want to play anymore. You know, I was crying. Like, I was traitor. And, like, these guys took me out just to kill me and, like, spew vile stuff to me. And they continually picked me up and downed me again over and over again. It was not fun. I did not want to play anymore. And that was like day three of me finding this game. Just a quick point here: we seem to have we seem to have a few uh, men in the audience that, s- to my view, seem very defensive about what's being uh, said tonight. Guys, this is not an attack against you. This is something I think we should all learn, and we should just chill out and listen about it, and just see something we do not experience and we do not see. Maybe I'm overreading what I see, but s- a few of you guys seems to be feel a bit attacked for some reason and this is not how it is and i don't think anyone in the audience attacked anyone so so just we, we want to learn more guys we are here to learn more and, about a thing that other people than us are experience, experiencing and uh also i would to 
bring in like the males aspect like i have a lot of guy friends in project winter a lot like i have some of them who are just completely blind to it completely blind to um what like i have to go through with these guys because you know a lot of the words they use uh you were bringing up um you know general toxicity versus female uh toxicity and um i think when they hear it they just kind of assume it's just the one when i don't think they understand how it's actually personally attacking or like offending me um my friends just kind of aren't like all not all of them are aware and some of them are which is great because they'll also just be like yeah well going we're going this way we're you know getting out of this situation um so i mean as much as i don't want like people in the audience to be offended because i I don't want the topic to be it's everyone because obviously it's not it's the you know us being in these situations i'm usually like when this happens i'm either alone or with one other person and we're going into like lobbies with randos of course if we were in a lobby with our group we'd have you know a mix of men and women who you know work amazingly together and it's just you know love and support and you know a great community but we're talking about like the outliers and how many outliers there are are there enough outliers to ruin your experience or not that's kind of the point Tentacle, yeah. you, I would really like to hear your input on this so far. But before we go on, I just had something I wanted to say to Nikki uh, earlier, and I took notes, and I didn't have the time to plug it. Nikki, it seems like, sadly, you have had a, uh, a, a bad experience with the game. I, I want to firmly invite you, if you want to start playing the game again, we have built ourselves a, a awesome community of great people, respectful people of all genders, we have built this group called the Pot Pies Paul. Uh, I did not do that. I think Tentacle worked on this uh, with other people. I don't want to... Uh, Tentacle, you can tell us more about it later. But if you feel like you want to do a comeback to the game, uh, we'll, we will be so happy to have you back. We love this game to death. I think every one of us love this game and we only want it to thrive. And I miss you, Nikki. You kill me, Teal. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and <a> li- like <laughs> any other games like that, sadly, the- these games are more are more enjoyed with a bunch of friends. So, yeah, we will be so happy to have you join us if you ever feel like coming back. I'm just gonna say it right now. Okay, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Tentacle. Sorry, I know I'm I'm a little quiet over in my corner here. But it, it's just so powerful, the different things that these ladies are saying. Like, ultimately, it kind of all comes down to the same thing of, like, there's just behavior that needs to be corrected drastically. But, like, honestly, just first of all, thank you, ladies, for coming on the debate and, and sharing these stories because they are quite powerful. Like, they're, like I've, I've honestly taken a lot of this to heart because I've deal, dealt with a lot of the same experiences. Um, I feel like... I maybe had just taken a different a different reaction towards it. It sounds like a few of you had just like removed yourself from the situation. Um, whereas I, I and I'm gonna say unfortunate because this is not the type of person that I genuinely like to be. Um, I had taken a little bit more of, I guess in a way, a stance against, uh, towards it, but. In, in, I would say, a, a kind of a toxic way as well. Um, you know, if insults were thrown at me, I didn't necessarily insult the other person, but I, I would make lewd comments. You know, if lewd comments are going to be thrown at me, I'm going to dish them back at you, and you just have to deal with it because if you feel the right that you can comment about my gender, um, my body for people who have see- played with me visually um it's you know you have to honestly be willing to open up that door to be able to take it as well and like i said that's not the type of person i genuinely like to be i don't want to have to be that person but if you're gonna dish it honey you better be able to take it (laughs) but you know it's and thankfully for project winter i have had to deal with some questionable individuals uh, to put it nicely, <laughs> but 
Uh, overall, I think it's been a fairly welcoming community for me. Uh, I do have to say, though, I don't genuinely play with a bunch of randos um, for a lot of these reasons. Uh, so when I do play, if I don't have a bunch of friends with me, I will create my own lobby. If I do not create my own lobby, it's not curated. I do not have control over who comes in and out. And that's a problem. You know, e even when I do create my own lobby, yes, there's going to be those individuals that come in and start harassing me straight away just on me saying hello. Um, I mean, ex uh, Asparagus had experienced that a couple days ago. We were in a chat at a lobby waiting for some people and an individual came in and just automatically started at me. As soon as I said one word, I was talking to Asparagus, no one else. And this person had the audacity to come in there and start cursing at me using very disgusting profanity. Um, and thankfully, Asparagus is awesome. You know, he took care of that. He got rid of that individual just straight away. Um, but those are the types of things that I feel that we have to do. You know, if we don't curate our own lobbies, then we're sitting here basically opening ourselves up to harassment. And that's not what we should have to do. And that's not how we should feel going into a game, right? And just like the rest of these girls, uh, or sorry, ladies, my apologies, <laughs> just like the rest of these ladies, um, you know, I, I've played games for a long time. And yes, the community has gotten better progressively over the years. But to me, and I don't know to the rest of you, it still kind of feels like we're still kind of living a little bit in a dark age, right? Mm -hmm. You know, like we all sit here and go, oh, guys, look, it's like 2022 now. <laughs> oh, we got past all this crap. If we haven't, we haven't not not at all. You know, it's it's very blatant. Blatant. Uh, do you know what? Like a perspective that I have that I find interesting is that I find, for me, it's like my perception that it's, I, I don't know, I don't know how to say, like younger men that are still figuring out appropriate behavior on the internet. Like a lot of the experiences I have, like if I'm judging somebody based on their voice, which I know I shouldn't do, but I do based on not just like the tone of their voice, but their cadence and the language that they're using and the words they're doing, you can kind of guess somebody's age based on the way that they're speaking in general. And a lot of the times I'm finding like, it's my perception that they're younger and they're doing the things that they're seeing on social media and TV shows and like trying to be edgy and trying to be funny because they think that it's funny. So um, one of the tactics that I've developed playing with randoms and playing with people that I don't know and playing with people that treat me poorly based on my gender is um, when they make a joke that they think is funny. Oh, don't be offended. It's just a joke, lady. It's just a joke. And then somebody's like, well, if a male says, okay, that's not funny and you shouldn't say that to her just because she's a woman. And then that person who I'm perceiving as the toxic person will say something like, okay, that's when the S word comes out, right? That's when the, oh, you're like, you know, the white knighting and this and that. So a tactic that I've developed is just to say to the person, to say their joke back to them and say, I don't know why it's funny. Explain to me why that's funny. Tell me what the joke is. What's the joke? I don't get it. Can you explain it to me again? Okay, tell me the whole joke again from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Things like that. Or when I get asked questions that are inappropriate, that are questions that are being asked of me based solely on my gender, something, something my mom taught me is you just reply with, why do you ask? Why do you ask? And it kind of makes them second guess because it's it's really, it's stupid because I don't, when I play video games at night, I'm done with my day. I am finished with all of the things that I have to do. I'm finished with adulting and things like that. And I, what I don't like about social games where there's lots of voice chat, where you're spending close one-on-one, -on -one, like, like everybody said earlier, when you're playing shooters and other games and things like that, you're only talking in small spurts about small things or shot calling and little things. It's not social deception based on thoughts, feelings, lies, deceptions, and making friends and making allies and things like that. So um, it can be mentally taxing to be like, okay, I have to educate people as to why that's not appropriate. And that's something that kind of turns me off of playing the game because I don't feel like other people necessarily have to defend themselves because they have a feminine presenting voice. That's something that irks me, but I don't think it's unique to the community of project winter i think it's an issue that you will see across multiple games and that games like project winter i feel like have a responsibility to moderate their communities 
uh, tightly and to, to believe women when they say this man threatened to sexually assault me in a video game. So that's, that's what I think is really important. You know, I wish that I held my... I, I don't think I've ever played with you. Um, you seem like you hold yourself very nice. You seem like a respectful in, individual. Um, <laughs> but just like Tentacle, I um, I kind of feed into it. You bite back? Um, Do it. Like, oh, oh, yeah, absolutely. No. like um, yeah, I don't put up with it and then people like the old... report me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so in my old like Project Winter homie group, um, we would none of us stood for any of that, obviously. Um, so when we would get some randoms in our lobbies, we would teach them a lesson like it's like don't steal a rock kind of thing. Um, if they said something about, I think it was me and one other female, if they said something about us, um, in a rude way or even to the guys you know um we would chase them like throughout the entire map it's not about the game anymore it's about teaching this low iq guy a lesson you know um i think i've met so many great men on project winter so so many more than i can count um, oh yeah it like asparagus just great dudes um i absolutely adore the community that is the uh, one of the only reasons why i'm still playing because of the friends um like all of you were saying um it gets a little tough when there is so much communication going on um it seems like this game is worse than others just because of the amount of communication goes on it's about the same as in every game um i I think one thing that bugs me a little bit, um, and my opinions can be swayed, is if you have evidence of someone harassing you or anything, um, and you report it, they get a warning. I don't think that if you have evidence um, of them, you know, actually like harassing you, um, they should not get a warning. I think that should be an immediate ban because um, I used to deal with this guy coming, stalking me. Um, he would come into all of my lobbies. Um, the first couple times, like, you're for, no one cares if someone doesn't have a mic, so we don't mic check, you know? Um, but he would come into my lobbies. At first it started with, you know, little, like, compliments, you're pretty, um, then when I was like, like, dude, chill, um, he would down me, get me back up, and just keep saying this disgusting language in my ears. Um, so I, I reported him, and it would still happen. I think after my final report with literally like 10 of his Steam accounts, um, I didn't see him anymore. Um, but I, I don't think there should be a warning in that type of situation. So that's that's mm -hmm. scenario. Ten Steam account meant he bought the game ten times. Dude. <laughs> Some people are Talk crazy. Like I mean, they're they're the internet's full of them. For sure. So ladies, uh, what are your thoughts on the kick process when you're in a game? And you have to basically report someone in order to get them kicked. But in order to complete that and successfully have them kicked, you basically have to have the entire lobby agree on it. Mm -hmm. Honestly, and personally, that would be something I would love to see changed. I don't think you should have like to have an entire lobby. Yeah, just to be able to kick out the toxic person. You know, like, I remember getting into a game in Project Winter, um, you know, probably about like maybe a month ago. And everyone was great in the lobby, um, no problems. But then as soon as we get into the game, for some reason, one individual just decides to start up with bullcrap towards me, the only female in the lobby. And they ended up rounding up five other individuals in that lobby to harass me. 
chase me all over the map, everything, beat me up, pick me up, all of that crap. When it got to the point that I just got so fed up, I couldn't report them all. It wasn't working. I couldn't do anything. So I literally just exited out of the game, left it completely, walked away from my computer. And like many of you guys, like I, I actually cried because what do you do? I'm sorry, I'm like getting emotional. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but like- A little bit, I'm getting shaky. Yeah, right? <laughs> Oh, I've been shaking since we started yeah. this. Like, <laughs> I know, yes. it's like, it's 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 partly from like the nerves of just being on the debate and then the other part of just like, you know, Talking the topic. The and, topic. And, yeah, mm. right? So honestly, like that would be definitely something I would love to see changed in Project Winter is the voting to kick system. I would like to add my agreements upon that. There have been, I know one specific situation I remember very well when the vote to kick uh, feature in the game was newer and somebody was being misogynistic and toxic and making me really uncomfortable. So I voted to kick them and I had to go and run around the lobby to try and find people to tell them to ask them, this is why I wanted to kick them. And then some people that I know well said that they weren't going to kick them because they didn't see them do it themselves. And then that was upsetting to me because these are people that I knew well from the community and I felt like I didn't have an ally or a support in that situation. The so problem I'm, with, I'm, with I the didn't like that I'd have to seek people out to explain to them why I wanted to kick them. I think the problem with changing that kick system would be we'd go into a lobby as females and we'd run into those toxic people and be like, oh, F this, whatever, right? And uh, we'd get kicked and get that. That's true. Mm -hmm. I, I mean... So, like, that's true, but at the same time, I would rather be kicked from their lobby and, and, and just straight into another one. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. So your options here is to either try to get them kicked or leave yourself, which comes with a penalty to yourself, because if you leave the game, you end up with a leave rate, and which mm -hmm. can come with other issues. What would you suggest so far? Because I, I understand the, the issues here, and I understand what you're telling us, Tentacle. I also worry that, sadly, if you make it easier to kick people, it might be abused by other types yeah. of trolls. Like Feta said earlier, he, Feta told us that apparently he got kicked out of, of the lobby once because he was a traitor and people just wanted to get rid of a traitor to get a, an easier game. So I think it's have... a really difficult solution that has been impossible to solve across multiple games. And I don't think Project Winter is, is unique. No, We're and it's not just a Project Winter problem, problem either. No, obviously it's not. So... I'm I'm just gonna put it out there, guys. Freaking nineties Counter Strike community. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Didn't play it. Uh, I don't understand the reference. I feel I'm old that's enough. That's okay. I, but... I see some I see some nods in here, and girls, I'm with you. <laughs> Uh, I have a quite follow-up question from uh, Pizza here about exactly what you just talked. Uh, when uh, you have a bad experience or when you experience sexism and toxicity, how likely are you to report it in-game or in the Discord? I always report in-game um, in Discord. I, I usually run into it most of it when I'm not live, so I don't have video evidence. I wish that I could report after the game is over from the um, end screen, which is something that's not yeah. currently available. That's that's a good one. That's actually a good mm -hmm. point. Ash? Um, yeah, I, I would say personally, I try uh, if I'm in a game and something happens and I just don't have the time because the game ends or because I'm not dead and I still have to do objectives. Um, and I don't, like, if I'm, you know, on a trader team, um, I, I'm already lacking in, you know, the game skills. I can't, you know, spend another 10 minutes describing every little detail to report a person because I will be very detailed because I don't stream and I don't have video evidence ever. Um, so it's, if I were to put per percentages on it, I'd say it's like 25% of the time I can get to it. The other 75, it's kind of a toss up. Uh, although, she, I, I yeah, would I like the to, uh, end game ahead, screen sorry. reporting would help that. Or like so, recently yeah, it, played with, can you, can you do it from there? 
I wish. I don't think so. Uh, I, I don't know. Well, apparently, uh, Red 5 already uh, is already on the case. I think we have so far something that uh, would be one small solution so far. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, increasing end match timer is the next. Oh, okay. Thank you, Red 5. I've been suggesting that a few times. Uh, this end match uh, timer is so short, it doesn't give you time to do anything. It used uh, to be shorter. It used to be shorter? I don't yeah. remember that. Um, Plus, anyway, others, you've he heard it here, guys. So I no, hundred percent. I will if I have video evidence. I'll report in the Discord. Um, I will, one hundred percent of the time, report in game. Though, um, I don't know if that does much. Um, but yeah, like I, it's usually me and a couple of friends and randoms will fill our lobby so if someone toxic comes in we'll all pause we'll all take our little break in the cabin we'll all report then we'll come back out kill them you know get it get it done with another benefit of playing with your friends mm. yeah mm -hmm. uh nikki did you add uh when this uh well this experience you had you described earlier uh did you report it in the discord or in the in-game uh, report system or did you just decide to Go, do, do, I, do I report it in game. Like I report people frequently. I do. If you ever look up my my reports, you probably see my name a lot. If anyone, you know, can see it. Okay, we go for uh, with one other question, and then we'll take a five minutes break just to give everyone the time to hit the bathroom and refill the drinks. So this question we have here, I okay. I think these are mostly. Anonymous. So we're going to end this uh, part of the, the, the show on a uh, more um, positive note. So someone asked, at what point do you think the community has been the most accepting? Right now. Right now? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think right now compared to the way it was. Um, I've played a couple times and it's hit or miss. Out of three games, maybe one would be a little crazy. Whereas before it was every single game. Um so I think a lot of the toxic people have been weeded out, but you know, there are people who are just discovering this game. They want to play it. They bring their friends and they're just, they don't know what they're doing. So they do, you know, dumb things like, oh, let's kill the female. Um, so, oh, yeah. but I, I think as the of right female. now, <laughs> yeah, as of right now, this is probably the best time for Project Winter. Yeah, I, I feel think like there's it been a better. ton of improvements too with the reaction time, the response time, and even the ability to report. Like it it used to be not work. Like honestly, it would suck because it would be an extra job for me to do, an extra thing for me to do to be able to enjoy the game. And that I didn't even want, I didn't got to the point where I didn't want to take the time out of my gameplay because then it would just intensify those feelings of frustration because then I am thinking about and reiterating and then again, reliving the thing that upset me enough to make me cry and be like, I need to report this person because they treated me like shit based on my gender and used like derogatory or like threatening terms well when I go have to then report that over and over and over again then you're having to like it, it was it was a chore it was an extra job to do so um now it's a lot easier to just open the player menu and hit that report it's it's easier I find like it does then I don't have to think about it enough because I don't want to forget the details so then while you're playing the rest of the game you're then Thinking about the feelings that you had and the things that they said so that you're trying to commit those shitty words that they said to you to memory so that you can then go report it after the game. So I think the community definitely is improving because of the in-game report feature. And if they just continue to make improvements to that, I think we're going to see um, benefit to everybody, not just female gamers, but like everybody. Because nobody wants to be reliving like toxicity over and over and over again so they can make a report. So I think it's good. Cra and I feel like, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, and I feel like it's going to be coming in waves. Um, as we weed them out, I think there's going to be a time where, you know, people, like a bigger new group of people are going to come in. We're going to have to use those report buttons more to weed them out again. I think that's just going to how it, that's going to be how it is until we can live in this perfect little world of sunshine and rainbows and everyone's just nice to each other which I don't think, I, I, I don't think that's a, yeah 
But yeah. actually, I don't think that's a Project Winter problem. I think that's an internet problem. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it's true. I've just came out with something very crazy in my hand while Avindra was talking. So uh, Red 5 Pizza, make uh, make and sure to make fun of me if I'm, I'm just a crazy guy who doesn't know how uh, internet works. But would it be possible when you do an in-game report that the game instantly snaps and captures for you the, let's say, the last minute of your gameplay and sends it with the report? So you don't have to yourself do uh, go to the all, uh, all the asshole of getting the recording, sending the recording, uploading the recording, uh, mm -hmm. uploading up to your YouTube. Uh, at a time, I used to do a lot of uh, reports, and it was always a pain uh, just to get the video uploaded to YouTube somewhere. Just send the link. Um, Peter says, I don't know of any game that can do that. I don't know any game that can't do that. Probably mean, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so I I, I'm speaking crazy idea. here. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, I would like not. that. I don't know if it's possible, and I don't know like how long that would take to like figure out how to do, but I think that would be really awesome. I think not that's definitely possible. A lot of work. It sounds like a lot of work, but it would remove work from the community and probably would also save a lot of people from uh, false reporting, right? Because if you do a false report, and then your last minute of gameplay is sent with it, and they when they review it, they see right away. But I just throw that there. Um, they're probably gonna tell me that what I'm suggesting is totally impossible or not. But just throwing suggestion here. Uh, and what wants to say anything else before we take a break? We are going for a five minute break pretty soon. Yeah, I think they should implement a voice mod so everyone sounds like a scary killer. Aliens. Okay, so uh, on that, we will be taking a five minutes break. Before we go, guys in chat, thanks so much for being there. There's more people than you than we usually have. This is awesome. I We would like to thank every single one of you. We will be doing a giveaway when we come back. We have two copies of Project Winter to give away on PC. Make sure to either follow or subscribe to the channel because the giveaway will be only for followers or subscribers. And to enter the giveaway now, uh, enter question, uh, uh, question mark. Now it's, uh, what's the name for that? Sorry, the French is coming out. I will be placing it in chat for you guys. This is what you need to type to enter the giveaway. We already have six people enter the giveaway right now. So you still have, oh, we have seven people now. So you have five minutes to enter the giveaway right now. And on this, we will be back in a few minutes. Don't leave, we have plenty more to say. Welcome back to the show. I hope you enjoy your, uh, your pause. We've got a few water. We got a few people going to the bathroom and we will be back for at least another half an hour for the discussion before before we go we have this giveaway we have to do we have a we have two copies of project winter to give away and this is going to be incredible so guys i'm giving you a last 10 seconds if you want to win the game right now you have to type in chat exclamation point pppd giveaway and we will be giving away two free games if you already have the game you are able to switch it for a copy of uh, blackout tentacle will reach out to you after the debate and will well i mean the discussion tonight and she will end you your copy thank you so much by the way to red five and pizza for supplying us with these uh keys this is awesome so there you go we're gonna do the giveaway in five four three zero this is how we count in quebec apparently so who's winning the first copy we have brutang brutang thank you so much brutang you are winning your first your copy of the game. So congrats, Brutang. I, I hope you're still here. I hope you're still here and that you heard the good news. And also Silver Horsey. There you go. Congrats. You can join us on PC now. Silver Horsey, you can ditch the Xbox and play on <laughs> PC with the adults. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Oops. What did I say? What did I say? So yeah, thank you so much. Uh, we will keep your names right there. I will take a print screen to make sure that you are contacted and you will receive either a copy of Blackout if you don't own it or a copy of the game. That being said, let's go back into the discussion here. 
Uh, we have a few questions that have been asked by the chat. Pizza has been doing a great job sending me all these questions. And a few of them we've uh, asked already. But before we go, I think I want to give you at least another 10 minutes to just to talk about whatever's on your mind before I have to, uh, before I want to go. I have a few questions that I really, really want to ask you that I have two questions that I've handpicked out of the list that I don't want to forget. But before we go, go ahead. The floor is yours. If there's anything else you want to say about the topic. I did have a thought. Um, so in one of my earlier um, project winter groups, um, it was nice because we were able to kind of weed out like the toxicity that we're, you know, talking about. But then we got to this, like some serious situations between, um, you know, those more, those, I don't want to say like men who, you know, do and say all the right things to then, you know, take like make a friendship and then, you know, try and take advantage or then try and, um, you know, push a situation into the way they want it. But I was just wondering, like, I've been in a group where we've had, you know, random person A, he brought up some, like, over DM, some really inappropriate, unwanted topics after our, like, group had kind of already been, like, established. And I wanted to know, obviously, we ended up dealing with it, you know, kicking whoever we needed to be kicked, but I wanted to see if you guys had any similar stories or um had to go through like a similar situation with someone you actually had you know i guess i wouldn't want to say pass the test because it's not like we're testing people but someone you trusted um just meeting in the game um yeah so i had a very very good friend on the game um i think yeah, I started playing Project Winter like a little over a year ago now. Um, and him and I were friends since I got into it. Um, and then, come to find out, he has been harassing multiple girls. Um, I was not one of them, um, thankfully. Um, but he actually got banned and it, it was just so like the plays people can put on are amazing to get what they want um it, it's it's disgusting how people can just switch you know um yep uh, yeah i agree <laughs> it's rough tentacle nikki any input on this one i, I i've met people who were cool in the game and one in particular freaked me out um I don't know what is it a sadist a masochist who likes to give pain so because that sadist. yep that's what he said he was a sadist and he actually expressed that to me and thinking back in his his gameplay project winter the things he would do I'm like yep mm -hmm, I can see that I had to block him on discord and it was just a creepy conversation to have from such a cute little game in snow, right? Mm -hmm. Didn't enjoy it. I think all of us have had some of those experiences. Um, I, re I receive all sorts of icky things via Discord, not just necessarily people that I've randomly met in Project Winter, like I said, I've had people ask me for my Snapchat or my phone number or what's your OnlyFans is one I get yeah. all the time in Project Winter. Um, but also, like, whenever I get an unsolicited um, message from somebody via Discord, I immediately just like take a screenshot and send it to the mods on the Discord and they get banned from the Discord right away. Because like we get, I'm I'm sure it's probably the same for you all too. But like even other discords that I'm in from other games, I'll get messages from people. I haven't played that game in three years, and you're just in the discord, and people will look at your profile picture and target you and stuff like that. But you know, um, yeah, it's creepy. Some people do try to form relationships with you in Project Winter and in social games so that they can exploit you outside of the game. And sometimes it takes you a little while to figure out that's what's happening. And it's is, really awkward and uncomfortable, and I don't like talking about it. Is the problem 
is trying to just start a quote unquote relationship a bad thing to begin with or is it's the insistence or is the fact that it constantly happened because if i play a game with a player that it's just more from my understanding and probably for the other guys in chat i had a good time with a woman player we have having fun we have a fun game and at some point i just end up like i would like to talk to that person again it's kind of yeah, sad but that the game is the difference between soliciting fr it... soliciting friendship and soliciting sex but I'm, yeah i understand mm -hmm. that I, i'm not yeah. going there i'm not going there i mean because you ask snapchat or whatever your methods of communication is yeah, but you're not going to ask somebody that like the th first or second time you've met them in a Project Winter game. You're not going to follow them around and ask them for that. I'm assuming you're not going to do that, Asparagus. No, no, I, I, I played I, games with you, and you're not creepy. I hope I'm not. Like, I'm just, I mean, I'm just trying to see the line. Is it a difference between like the generations and stuff too, right? Because the the younger generations now are are very much like that. It's it's not like oh, you know, what's your what's your phone number or what's your email or um, you know, what's your Facebook? It's all like, oh, well, what's your, what's your TikTok? What's your Snapchat? Right. So it's like, so for some, I think, and, and like, please chat if I'm wrong, like, let me know. Um, cause I'm, I'm not exactly young. Okay. <laughs> but you know, I, I, at least I personally found, I get a lot of those types of things from people in, in, uh, who are much younger than me. Cause that just seems to almost be like their form of communication. Hmm. I, I don't know. I had somebody who wanted my Instagram because they wanted to marry me once. And I'm like, uh, no. I get asked my hair color a lot. I'm like, why? Like, why do you need to know my hair color? But, yeah. but I think um, I, I, yeah, miss, well... I misspoke my question. Is it is the act of wanting to, to, to suggesting once to keep contact in some way to play more game? Uh, the act and, of itself is no, related. It is so, it's not creepy. Late. But if it happens to you all the time, does it make it creepy? It, I mean, I, I think it's how if it's you presented. join ten games and it's it happens totally in ten games, yeah. it's it's how they bring it up. It's uh, if someone if like we had a really good game, I'll acknowledge that I have a really good game with uh, another player, and then I'll see a friend request, and I'll be like, hell yeah, you know, I, they were really cool. They respected me. We had a really good game. I'll add them, but if they, once they start sending, like, not necessarily get to know you questions, but more of the invasive, uh, inappropriate questions. Which I mean, I don't, I don't really want to give examples because I feel like we're the majority of us are. I mean, here we're all adults, but online, you know, the majority of us are adults, um, and we should know, like. Asking someone, hey, what's your Discord? Like, are you in, like, a public server? Uh, can I get to know you there? Is a lot different than starting to ask these, like, really personal questions in DMs. Yeah. So I, that's at least my takeaway. But does the guy who comes, you play 10 games, and then you get harassed in nine games in a row, and then the guy comes in the last one, and he's this one is a nice guy, and he just wants to keep contact with you because he had fun. Would it be seen like a creep like all the other ones because of the accumulation and that because it's at the end of the line? Or would it be seen better because is there I mean, a difference? I mean, it's like it would it really depends. Like last night I was playing a few games with this one guy and he was like pretty, pretty cool, pretty chill. And he asked me, hey, do you own Blackout? And I'm like, yeah, I got Blackout. And he's like, do you like to play it? And I'm like, well, I'll play it with friends. Like, if you got a group or something, they're like, all right, I'm going to add you and not like I'll message you and we can like, you know, play Blackout together sometime. I'm like, all right, cool. That's fine. That's completely different from somebody like, you know, going off and messaging me and like, you know, trying to hit me up for, you know, whatever type of sexual favors. Were you not on the anti-Blackout team, uh, Real Deal, when you had the debate? About I blackout? was. Yeah, I will play were. Blackout, though, occasionally. <laughs> Okay, sorry for that, guys. Okay, so that's a question I had in mind. I have another question here for Pizza that I've been having for a week now, and I really want to ask it. Uh, this one will apply. I think all of you can answer this. Did you ever felt the need to have someone familiar with you when joining lobbies with people you don't know, especially when the lobby is all male? For a long time, yes. To this day. I prefer to have at least one ally in every game that I play. I do not like 
joining lobbies by myself and I do not want to check and see how many hours I have played in Project Hunter. For me, like at this point, like I've, I've made enough friends, I know enough people in the community that I can queue into a lobby and chances are I know somebody. So I don't, I like, I guess, like I, I do prefer to play with like a couple people that I know that I know will have my back. So I would say I'm kind of, so me and my uh, friend who play right now, we, we did have like a good group going, but then some of them went to play other games. So it's just me and my friend Katrova and me and her, I mean, we're both females. So we kind of like, we're always like, we're not going to play separately. We're always going to probably try and play together. And we're kind of in that in between group phases where it's only the two of us. When we go into a lobby, we'll, you know, some of our, like, old people, like, old community will pop up and might join us. But for the most part, we might get, like, one or two other people we know, and for the rest of it's just random. So it, like, I try to have at least, like uh, Ali was saying, one person that I can, like, know is going to have my back throughout the whole game. Would you leave lobby if you don't have that person? I mean, I wouldn't even be playing if I didn't have, a, you know, that person. Fair. Um, I'd like to address a comment in chat, if that's okay. I can... Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, it says, I'm just saying in any game, it's not creepy to ask for snap. It's creepy to send creepy snaps or repeatedly snap you at Alindra, in my opinion. I'd personally not do that, but I'm just saying it's not creepy to ask as a friend. Um, so that might, but I think that's different than what I'm trying to articulate, Moose. What I'm trying to articulate is that when I meet somebody in Project Winter, which is a social-based deception game for the very first time, and I have played one or two or three or five games with this person, they're not my friend. We are not friends. We've just met each other, and I think that it is inappropriate, and it makes me uncomfortable to have somebody of any gender ask me for my Snapchat because to me that feels um, it feels a certain way because not ever once in Project Winter have I seen or experienced a male asking another male for their Snapchat during a game or a female presenting like like yeah. whatever of the same gender. I've never witnessed that happening. But what I do witness happen is men asking me for my Snapchat and asking other women in the game for the Snapchat not a friendly thing, not outside. Like I, there's lots of people that I play Project Winter with that we have Snapchat. We Snapchat each other all the time and stuff like that. But we made those connections and relationships outside of the game after we developed friendships in Discord and other things. And if anybody were to ask me in a Project Winter game that I have just met, what's your snap? It's not for friendly, polite purposes. And that is my response to that act. I completely agree. Yep. Yeah, you did a very good job sure. explaining yourself there, Lindra. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm not. Not at all, Moose. Like, I, I, you're not coming off as creepy. I'm just trying to explain and respond to your statement in in a, res in, a in a respectful way. Because, yeah, like I, I I get what you're saying, and I and I understand that. I, I get it because like sure when you're getting to know somebody it's not creepy to ask for their socials and things like that when you are friends but in the context of what we are currently talking about um whereas you've just met somebody for the first time or third time or fifth time and you only know them inside project winter it's inappropriate i also think it's a great clarifying question that he had yeah or they had um because i mean from what i from what I've seen, like, I, again, I'm in the younger generation. Um, <laughs> the younger, us younger, us, us youngins, I've been called a baby before, you know? Um, like, we don't know, we don't know how, like, some people just don't know, like, what's appropriate and what's not in those really fine lines. I think to really just separate that, I think you did a really good job explaining, and I think that was a really good question, too. Excellent. Thank you so much for this one. I have another question right here that I want to ask. Um, we uh, Ash, earlier in the first part, you talked about uh, guys being called simp because they are um, 
helping or trying to be allies or just trying to not even trying to be allies, just trying to be a normal person, I guess. Um, I've never been called a simp for helping a man finish the bone. Like exactly. Objective. I don't think exactly. I've ever been called a simp. My question Period. here is that uh, I don't want to hear the words because sadly uh, Twitch will not allow it. But I want to know, are there any words by themselves that are worse than other? Or is it the intent behind the words that make it bad? Yeah, there's words the you don't say. There's lots of words that regardless of the context, in my opinion, you do not say. That yeah. too. I, I think, yeah, I mean, you just gave us like a range of words <laughs> and there's like a lot of... Yeah, I agree. There are some words, like, ob there are the obvious words that even in any context, it's like a no. But then there are some words I use with my friends in a joking matter with, like, in a non, you know, aggressive way. Like, if my friend kills me in the first five minutes of the game, I will <laughs> be very upset and probably yell at them. Um, but yeah, I think that's a hard question. Anyone's, anyone else want to wave in this one? Yeah, I think what everyone said um, explains it. There, I mean, obviously, if there is some, um, they're saying less intense words, but um, you can tell that they mean it more. Um, that can still hurt the same, but you know, there's some words that you know. Because you can sting, be sting even when it's in not that um, aggressive tone. Because you can be creepy or toxic without using the specific word and just bring it with a polite tone and using polite oh, yeah. words. And then it still, it still has the same effect, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, you mentioned earlier that sometimes when uh, things happen to you, uh, you uh, some of you, not all of you, some of you tend to bite back and fight back against it. And sometimes you have uh, some of your uh, male players that do fight back against these people as well. Did you notice if uh, the fact that a male player fights back and call them back, call them out of their on their shit, does it have a bigger effect or does it have no effect at all? Or it has a bigger effect. No, it has a bigger yeah, effect. Yeah. It does. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So. You know and none of us like that either, that that works better than yeah. us. Like, yeah, we want our voices to be heard ourselves. Well, that that's it, right? It's like, I, I can say one thing. Like, I could literally just say, can you please stop to the individual? And I will end up with just backlash. Like, just, Shut just up, even bitch. more taunt. Yeah, mm -hmm. everything, right? Um, but then if a male counterpart in the same case, game says the exact same thing word for word to that individual, they're like, oh, sorry, man, didn't mean to. It's like it's almost like it's just like shrugged off and kind of swept under the rug a little bit because, oh, no, another dude is telling me that I can't do that. So I better step in line. It's like like it's just unacceptable. Yeah. Something that bugs me a little bit. Um is when these words are getting thrown around sometimes your um male friends will kind of wait and see what your reaction is before before they react yeah yeah and it's like um i i get why they do that though i wish some of them like would really be quicker to jump up. on it yeah why like, like, why why um I guess isn't it respectful for your friend to wait to see that you are I think... actually offended before trying to try to fight quote unquote bad words here, but quite to jump and fight for you because you you might not be offended, or you might it might be a situation with someone you mm -hmm. do know. There's an inside joke between the two of you, and the other friend doesn't know. Isn't it? I, uh, I thought it was the right thing to do to wait to see they, that there was actually discomfort, and then when there is, and you see that this situation is not going to resolve itself, maybe if I can help, then I should. Um, I think if I'm playing with you and we are friends, uh, you would know where the lines are. Um, but I think it um would just be a nice change of pace instead of me having to jump on them. It would be nice to like 
have a male be like dude with that that's not cool off the bat you know like um um maybe it's a personal thing but um it, it just would be nice a little change of pace a little little male v male action i would say for me um like i i don't sit in between like i don't really fight like i i might bite back uh, if i get really really annoyed it takes a lot to like push my buttons i'm very non-confrontational when it comes to stuff like that i just ignore it um because that's kind of just how i was raised to be just ignore the things you don't like uh in life um so i'll just like me and my friend might make us like a comment on it and just like leave uh, or not play with them or whatever. Um, but f although it is unfortunate that a man's, a man's voice against another man has more an impact of mine, it would be nice for not even just someone else to call it out other than the person being like attacked and the person you know doing the attacking it, a, a third party in general calling that out it's i helpful. think my, i think it's really helpful um, it's an I, ally regardless of their gender if anybody yeah. else speaks up on your behalf using those types of words then you have an ally and it doesn't matter if it's an it, it's unfortunate that it does feel like another man does give that like allyship more clout but that's just a systemic problem Mm -hmm. So just as a um, tip to our uh, fellow man in the chat. So what I'm understanding, please correct me if I'm wrong. We all dislike that another man's jumping in will have a bigger impact. But that but being said, it. but that being said, but we should do it. do it regardless. Be an ally. Yeah. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. You guys understood that, right? Apparently, do it. Yeah, it feels really nice and I will appreciate it greatly if you step in and help me out. Well, exactly. Yeah, especially it's if I don't know you. Same can't defend ourselves right but it's just nice as everyone's saying to have that extra ally that we know that now we can count on if you know things get even worse we have another person to help support us to deal with that situation like i don't know there's a few people that i've seen around that i i know have been like in a red thumb zone and been like people have been trying to kick them from the lobby but they have stood up for me in a couple different instances and i have vouched for them just keep them in that lobby. Please do not kick them. They are a homie. Okay, I have a question here from uh, Sleepy Goat. Uh, Sleepy Goat. I mean, Sleepy Ghost. My bad. Uh, Sleepy Ghost wants to know, and uh, this might be a situational question. I don't know if you play other uh, social deduction games, but he asked here, and I, I like this question a lot. Are there any other games that the panel feels handled harassment situation better and would like to see uh, similar m measures in Project Winter? So my personal thought on that is the one of the things that I've noticed about Project Winter and that I appreciate Project Winter is I actually feel like they hear my little tiny voice in a lot of the other bigger games where I receive harassment based on my my gender. There's really nowhere for me to go and voice those concerns and kind of like impact positive change in a way. Um, so I think that's one bonus that Project Winter has that other games don't have. And the answer to Sleepy's question for me is like, no, not really. But then again, I don't have similar gameplay experiences in other games because the gameplay is vastly different. Like Project Winter is so unique when it comes to the amount of social interaction that you have and those strong feelings that are associated with the style of gameplay. I agree. Though I do think like, in general, just like the devs from Project Winter care more. And I feel like they care more. I feel that. I feel more supported, I guess. Yeah. Tentacle, Ash, uh, Nikki? I don't play other, any other games, so... You play Among no. Us? Sleepy Ghost um, I, I have, but only like only with people I know, so... And it's only text chat, so it's different. Uh, I, well, I've, I, I've played it on Discord, so... Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Any other games, uh, Nikki or Tentacle, that you feel handle uh, harassment situation better and we'd like to see these options added to Project Winter? I'm just trying to think of a game that 
has like in-game chat. Um, most games that you play don't have it. Um, so I can't really think of one to compare it to. Uh, like on Xbox, you have to join a party typically to talk to people. You know, when you're playing multiplayer games, you don't usually you know those people. Yeah, exactly. So, so. I mean, not... I find I only play games with people I know. Yeah, like I can't, I can't think of another game, but I can say the reaction to a female voice is different in different games. You know, um, Project Winner. It, it it is unique because you have to work together. You have to communicate. I tried playing the game without my microphone on and automatically you get sussed because you're not talking. So that doesn't work either. Um, you need to have the in-game chat, you know? So I'm just thinking, you know, through what games have built-in chat um, and I, I can't, you know, think of one that I can compare this to. Have you tried Dread Hunger? No, I've not. I've no. seen it, but I haven't played that. Uh, First Class Trouble, does it have a voice chat? I haven't played that either. It does. Yep, it I've does. played that one publicly and things like that, and some of the, the, some of the same stuff. Same stuff. When happens, I was right? playing with people I didn't really know what happened, but I primarily played First Class Trouble with people that I that I knew, and I only played it with strangers, kind of, I guess, like in, in the beta phase and things like that, and... Um, I didn't stick with that game. I don't. I didn't. I didn't like it because I liked Project Winter better. I didn't like. As I, we all I do. Had tried, I also had tried First Class Trouble, but I also the people who were introducing it to me. Um, before getting into Project Winter, I had watched so many vid YouTube videos of people playing like Let's Plays and all of that. Um, so I knew the game mechanics before going in. So that's how I kind of learn games. Um, they kind of just threw me in. They're like, you're going to figure it out. And I'm like, I don't play video games. I have no idea what like what the controls are or anything. So I had, that left a bad taste in my mouth. Um, but I could see how, because of the similarities, I, I don't know how there would be too much of a difference. I have two more last questions here before we wrap this up. Uh, guys in chat, thank you so much. We have reached record numbers tonight. This is incredible. Uh, we're not done. We're not done yet, but everyone in the panel, thank you so much for being here. And in chat, if you like what you see tonight, feel free to follow and subscribe to the channel. We're having discussions slash debates like that every Thursdays. So next week. Oh, there you go. See? Thank you so much, Unreal Beta. Uh, here, what we're going to ask here, um, I'll keep this one for last because this one is uh, positive and I want to end on a positive note. Because uh, as we said many times, these are not problems related to project winter exactly they are mostly related to internet culture and the difference with project winter and the other games that is that this game thrives on communication and on team building which means that if you are not communicating you will not be successful and this is what i think we've identified so far as one of the big difference why these issues that are present everywhere stand out a little more in, in an environment like this one do you agree I see heads nodding. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Pizza said agreed. Awesome. So uh, this question here is um, is anonymous, but I think I have an idea where it comes from. Uh, does the panel feel like the dev response is appropriate when they've made reports against these types of issues? I think we already touched this a little bit, but. Um. I think it's Mike just, I didn't hear his question. I think it's Mike Do muted. Do you not hear my question? Just me. Let me have a look. Check, check, check. You're good. You're good. Okay. Well, oh, did you guys hear my question? This is just Ali? I heard it. I'm just pondering. Okay. Oh, uh, nice. Ali, you are not hearing me, Ali. No, I hear you now. I just missed okay. the end of your question. Okay, my bad. Let, let's start the question again. Um, does the panel feel like the dev response is appropriate when they've made reports against these type of issues? I now, feel this one is from Red Five. Yeah. It's changed a heck of a lot. Like I feel a lot safer now making reports and doing things. Um, they've made lots of changes to make me feel more empowered to actually make those reports and communicate with them. Um, and there's more avenues within the game, like I said earlier, so that I don't have to like remember all the details of the harassment so I can go report it later. And I appreciate that. And um I also really appreciate that now when you report things on Discord that people can't kind of like cheek their way into the report channel so they can see 
what other people were reporting because once I realized back in the day that people could actually see what I was reporting, I stopped reporting people because mm -hmm. I didn't want to receive further harassment in the game based on the reports that I was making. Wait, that was so the they've locked that down though. Okay. Yeah. Ash. Um, Anyone else? No, I don't. I don't have too much to say since I don't report often, and I don't really have too much knowledge on what the devs are and aren't doing. Um, besides, you know, seeing the updates. I mean, I've seen Redfy take action pretty immediately with banning people, so I think um, it's pretty like top notch there. I think, yeah, I don't. Um... I don't have much experience either. Sorry, sorry, Holu. You, oh, you're ahead. Not cool, dude. Stop. <laughs> um. Uh, so I think it definitely has gotten better. I'm so sorry. Um, I think it used to... I, I don't really know where the shift happened. Um, it just all of a sudden... I You know, I think it was when pizza got, got dev. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just, um, it, it used to be like a closed window, like... Um, you don't know what happened to them after there was no follow up. I think there there's still minimal follow up, um, though they are. It is much better now. Um, um, but it used to be very, very difficult to get any any action taken. In in my opinion, but I I was also a troll, so I don't think they trusted my word. I also think there's a difference in the type. Uh, there needs to be clarity then on what we're talking about when it comes to their reaction time and what they do. Like, I feel like the conversation that we're having right now isn't about um, necessarily toxic things and, and things that we don't agree with in the game or gameplay choice and things like that. Like, I feel like what I'm talking about when I'm saying I've seen huge amounts of improvement is when it comes to, like, harassment and oh. and uh, violence and, and things like that. I've seen huge improvements on that so okay. I just want to make sure we're talking about the same things that we're not just talking about reporting people in game for what we perceive as shitty behavior because sometimes we perceive shitty behavior that isn't necessarily true like we'll perceive that somebody is RDMing but they're actually not because they're playing their role or so we perceive that somebody is breaking the game rules but we don't actually have the full story because there's other things happening in the game and that's why it can be so complex but I think we need to be clear that we're talking about like harassment and gender-based harassment yeah. when we're talking about this in particular, right? That's very true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God, just coming up with the facts, dude. We can't beat you. <laughs> She's just so eloquent. I know. God. <laughs> Good thing it's not a debate. I miss <laughs> oh, yeah, we'd all lose. <laughs> I, I bow down. <laughs> uh, tentacle deal. Uh, real deal. Sorry, I always uh, pronounce your name. Real deal, deal, seal, and Nikki. Anything you have to say about the um, dev response? No, I, I, yeah. oh. no, I said that. You know, I think like right now, I think Red Five is pretty quick when you submit evidence to uh, get that dealt with. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not sure if I judge um, based on my interactions. There are fewer negative experiences, then yes, obviously they're doing a great job. But I report, I block, keep it moving. I don't, you know, really follow yeah. up. I just keep moving. Tentacle? Yeah, I, I don't know. I honestly, I can't really speak to it all that much because I don't really have much experience with that. Um, as I have reported a few people, but I, I don't do so in the Discord, so I don't really see anything that comes as a result of my report. So, yeah, I don't really have too much to say on it, um, at least in the regards of to like what this conversation and topic is about. Because um, I have seen, you know, people come into lobbies who were just recently off of a, a temp ban and honestly i've had great interactions with them it was almost kind of like a clarifying moment for them where they're just like okay it's it's real i can i can get in crap right and they and they've kind of reverted their behavior and it's and i i don't see anything bad from them or i don't receive anything from them um 
but I can't really say whether that's in regards to the actual topic at hand uh, because I don't know what they're banned for, right? So I don't know. From what I hear and some things that I see, it seems like they're fairly on top of it. But I, other than that, I really don't have much to say. I just want to point out, I because uh, there was a time when I was making a lot of reports. I read five, probably remember that. Uh, one thing that I actually appreciated a lot is that almost every time I've made a report, regardless of the time it took to get an answer, I would get a follow-up. Uh, sometimes it, it could be a few days later, but I would get a message back from if I would be situation handled and telling me what happened with the, with the player. My gripes with the system here is my... Uh, I'm not in the inside, so I might be totally spreading fake news here. My understanding from an outside perspective is that sadly there's only one person that is assigned to to deal with all this stuff and it would appear that it could be a very very large mountain to to climb so maybe i'm wrong if there's more than one people dealing with those awesome but i feel like having more people uh dealing with these uh reports might be helpful and would probably help with the uh, overall situation which as everyone that seemed to said is now the best it's never been and from what i'm sending the the state of the game regardless of harassment and sexism although it's not perfect it's still the internet from what i understand it's at the best point it's never been so you guys are doing something very good over there at other oceans i would just go out with one last question just to end this up on a good note uh Pizza here. I, I don't know if it's a. I think that's another anonymous question sent here by Pizza. Um, says here. So far, a lot of these has been focused on the negative. Can you name a time when uh, this question was a super positive experience? Um, I guess. Can you name a time when you have a very good experience in the game? Uh, regardless, maybe a toxic situation that reverted to be a nice one, or something nice that you enjoyed, or find in a lie in a lie about the game. I will give you like one of each, uh, one minute or two each, if you want to share a nice experience too, and on a good note. I mean, like when you got like the one super awful sexist person and the rest of the men in the lobby take care of it and just kill them in front of the cabin. That's really nice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I get that sometimes. I appreciate those those men. No, I, I like the lobbies where there's like, you know, a, a new person or a couple of new people and everyone kind of pitches in to help them and they don't kill them in the first five minutes, even though they can. And everyone's, oh, yeah. you know, it's a, it's a teaching uh, kind of match. And at the end it kind of goes haywire because traders have to do the trader thing, but those are, those are the warm and fuzzies, right? You, you like to see people helping people. So those, you know, I've had a couple of those with just a good lobby and good helpful people. I think for me that the positives that I have witnessed in the games myself have far outnumbered the negatives, like for me personally, but I, like I said, I have a, I've been playing since 2019. So the really bad things that happen to me based on who I am as a person in Project Winter stand out very strongly in my mind. Um, and a lot of the really positive, amazing things they're so frequent that they don't stand out as often in my head because to be honest, like this is my favorite game. And despite the toxic shit that I sometimes encounter in Project Winter, as I do in other games, toxicity that I do feel when it happens in this game feels a lot worse than other games because it feels more personal. So for example, when Blizzard put voice chat, like native voice chat into Heroes of the Storm, I would be like perhaps the highest ranked player in the lobby or I'd be the person responsible for bans. When we got into the lobby and I started shot calling and doing things, people would treat me poorly, but then the game would end and I would play a next one with completely different people. And um, it, it didn't feel as bad, but in this game, those small, those, those, those encounters that are super toxic, they stand out, right? because they feel so much more personal because you spend so much more time with these people in the yeah. game and with the context of the game, it's different. I don't know. So 
my positives far away my negatives. I have a blast playing Project Winter. Like the majority of my games are hilarious and I've learned to shut down toxic stuff and I've developed a lot of allies in the game. So I feel like for for me, um, yeah, the positive stuff is is way, way stronger than the negatives. I just remember the negative stuff because I remember how yeah. strong those feelings were. Tentacle, Aldo? Yeah. <laughs> Find a little in this one. I can deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I I definitely feel you that um the good is there so often that um it, it all kind of meshes together, you know? Um makes up for it. Yeah, yeah. Um I don't know if um the person that submitted this question were uh they were looking for like actual like times um they they reveal themselves in chat by the way i'm not doxing anyone here uh i just want to make sure here i'm not making a mistake because that person said i submitted the question and i should have worded it better i don't see it anymore so i'm not gonna say it but yeah i think oh it's peas or you found it yep peas okay peas are you want warm fuzzy moments I There's a lot. Fuzzy moment. Yeah. <laughs> I have what? tons of fuzzy moments. So, well, it's kind of, you know. Um, uh, oh, yeah. I yeah, friendships. Best... <laughs> friendships. That's good. That's a good yes, moment. Yes, I've Friendship. made, like, <laughs> I believe I've made lifelong real <laughs> friends. Like, people that I've never met. I started playing Project Winter so for very personal frustrating us. reasons i was in a really hard spot in my life so some of those like really shitty encounters were extra intensified because it was tough but then i like the, the nice people shone through like pizar i've known you for a long fucking time now like do you know what i mean it's like i have met people that i speak to on an almost daily basis now that i have spoken to almost every day for like three years and those are the positive things that keep me coming back to Project Winter is like the real honest relationships that I have made with people that far outweighs the small volume of horribly toxic shit that I've got. So I'm glad that I, you know, I'm glad the game has evolved in a way that I still have the opportunity to meet cool people because like every year I'm collecting, like making more friends. I don't want to be like collecting friends. Sorry, I've been what? playing a lot of Animal Crossing. <laughs> yeah, um, collecting the friends. <laughs> yeah, like, I just, I've made a lot of really good people. And I think we all have that same opportunity to do that. Yeah, I mean, like, in the first week of me playing, I made friends with this guy. And, like, we sit in Xbox party chat and just talk about life a lot of the time still. And it's been a year, so. Right. I think one of my best, actually my best friend, like, he is my absolute best friend. I didn't meet him playing video games. Um, I met him because of, like, watching streamers. Um, I've known him for almost, like, three years now. We sit on Discord together, we talk about our lives, we watch anime and Korean dramas together, um, and he's actually coming to visit me for the first time next week. Like, Oop. I'm super excited, um, I, and pe people still try and tell me that he's not my real friend because I've never met him, you know? Um, and I think it's completely crazy because I also have a lot of good friends that I've met on project winter that have become my close friends that i talk to on a consistent daily basis more than my family like it just that's how yeah. it happens and i i'm grateful for video games and for the like online and for the communities to bring in us all together because i i mean I don't want to win on my. I don't want to play just a random game on my own and win. I like winning as a team, as a community. <laughs> yeah. That's that's one of the big things that Project Winter gives me is having those small victories or even not victories with others. So even the the lose so what, the losses can be great. Oh, hilarious. Experience. Yeah. Sorry to cut you a deal. Uh, we are gonna have to wrap this up with the end with because uh, Alindra has a, another engagement and we don't want to keep her here for too long. By the way, guys in chat, we are gonna do. 
we are going to do a, a post game project winter game uh, a post debate project winter game after that so when we're done don't leave we there's been uh, there will be more tonight so there's be more of this before we go i want to give you guys uh, one one minute each just to tell us final words tell us what you thought of the discussion and again once again where people can find you if they want to hear more of what you have to say let's go on the bottom right this time uh, tentacle oh man i was hoping i wouldn't be first <laughs> okay real deal to seal all right, hello. I am Real Deal Teal Seal, and uh, yeah, you can find me on Twitch under like you know Real Deal Teal Seal because that's who I am. Um, you can find me <laughs> Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and sometimes on Sundays, about eight PM Mountain Standard Time. And uh, yeah, thank you for having me, Nikki. Uh, yeah, thank you for having me. Uh, I was nervous, but this was actually really fun. Um, I got to see everyone's faces. I've been watching the discord oh, so. there's an ad rolling right now oh okay i just i just interrupted you because people who aren't subscribed to the channel are not going to hear what you're saying right now they're not and i think it's important right. that people get to hear true, what true, you have true. to say right now okay so <laughs> by in the meantime i just want to read this comment to you guys uh who participate in the debate uh, where is it? It was a question from, uh, it was a comment from Pizza. I think you might have all read it. Pizza says, I love you lady on the panel. You are, you are all brave to stand up and speak about this. I don't speak for the old dev team, but we really appreciate your feedback and hope to make Project Winter even more greater accepting place. I love this game and I would never want to work there if I didn't think they cared. Yeah, I saw that. I love that. Yeah, we we'll have to tell her if we love her when ads are done, if she doesn't see this. But, uh, she, yeah, oh, she, she should. She oh, we love you. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, she's going to see it. <laughs> um, okay, well, we can go oh, back. Uh, Nikki, there you go. <laughs> okay. Um, I kind of forgot what I was saying, but thank you for having me. And again, I got to see everyone's faces. Um, so this was this was fun. And Nikki, you can find me on Twitch at Nikki365. I typically stream on the weekends, uh, and again, variety streamer, I may attempt to stream more Project Winter. Um, for any of the devs who are here from Project Winter, penguins, give us penguins. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki, thank you for being here tonight. First time, first time being on the show, and I hope not the last time. I appreciate your input very much, and I hope you had a, as much fun as we had, especially uh, even if the topic was a bit uh, darker tonight. Olu. All right. Um, so I just wanted to, um, for some reason, I get really emotional about this. Um, I think everyone on this, in this call, is they are great people, and thank you guys so much for participating. Um, it has been very, very nice. Um, but I also want to say thank you to um the men in the audience and asparagus um for also being great allies to us and giving us this chance to speak um i think this needs to be done more um, by many different communities um but yeah i am halu uh you can find me on any social media at halushi um i stream sometimes try and join the discord just don't it happens sometimes thank you uh, I'll just switch over Ash and go to Alindra because I think you really have to go. So I'll let you do your uh, your goodbye, and then we we can end this up. Alindra, I don't want to uh, to keep you up too too late. Well, thank you so much for inviting me to participate in this discussion. It's an important discussion to me, and um, I appreciate the opportunity to share my experiences. And thank you to everybody in chat for coming and listening to our voices and what we had to say. And um, empathizing with our feelings and thanks to all the allies out there we're all happy that you're here and thank you so much for inviting me to be here for this i had it it was really good i think it was good for everybody so thank you we appreciate you coming and we hope to see you again on the show so if you have to go feel free to i'm gonna go. i'm gonna zip out i'm gonna just <laughs> so nice thank you all you. i was so happy to thanks, be here Sally. goodbye good luck have a great one Okay, so let's go uh, back now. We still have uh, Tentacle and uh, Ash. By the way, Olu, I don't know if you, uh, w when you thanked for this discussion, I think you also have to thank Ash because Ash is the one who brought this topic to me. Yes, and thank, you. Without thank Ash, you. Without Ash, there will not have been a discussion tonight. So thank just you. want to make this pretty clear. I saw that and I was like, fuck yeah.
in the, in the little <laughs> Discord. Uh, Ash, any final words? Yeah. Um, my name is Ash. Uh, on Project Winter, it's Taylor Jade. Uh, confusing, I know. Uh, don't have social media. All, all of it's personal. I'm like 10 years old. Um, I am so happy that I was able to talk about this topic. To be honest, I was a little nervous because I've only been in Pot Pie Pals for like a little bit. And then I saw this and I was like, I'm not really active on here and don't really know people. Um, but like, this is a topic I really want to talk about. And to be honest, I thought it wouldn't be talked about for like a couple months coming into this. Um, so the fact that this is my third time on stream and we're talking about it, I just asparagus like thank you so much. Um, thank you ladies for you know wanting to talk about this with me. I think um, I think it's important to talk about in all platforms and just in general because our, we, we, we need to be heard. We need to finally start talking and having change. And I think this is a way, a good way to do it. Um, like you guys were saying, thanks to the guys who came in and not only were listening, but were asking questions. I think, you know, I don't want to talk at you and tell you what is wrong and right. I want you to ask questions about things that might confuse you because I don't want it. I, I don't want to attack anybody here. Um, I think the discussion went great. I loved the feedback and I just, I'm really grateful for you guys. So. Thank you so much. Tentacle, you, uh, well, you didn't want to go first, so you have the final word. <laughs> I'm shy, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, honestly, like, I agree with all of these lovely debaters here. Like, we're just so thankful to be able to have a platform and, you know, be able to share our encounters and how we're feeling. And, um, and even, you know, the, we brought up a few um, general, like, tips and things on, you know, how you can actually help us out and help other, you know, women in the, in Project Winter and other games. So we greatly appreciate you guys being able to, you know, be here and support us in that. And I, I honestly, I think uh, Yoshi Man on the side here actually put it quite nicely. Um, they said uh, that the topic sadly sucks due to it simply existing. Agree. <laughs> Um, uh, but it was great to hear everyone talk about their experiences and bring notice on their issues so we can better help them in the future. Thank you. That is greatly appreciated. That actually, at least for me, shows that, you know, you're paying attention to the debate. You're hearing what we're having to say. You're understanding and sympathizing with us. And it's, it's beautiful. I love that and greatly appreciate it. Um, so I'll finish it there. I will be streaming sometime shortly, hopefully. Uh, and you'll be able to find me at uh, Tentacle PS on Twitch. Awesome. Thank you, every single one of you. Ash, Olu, uh, Nikki, first time here. Real deal. Uh, Alindra was here for the first time as well. And Tentacle. This is crazy in chat. All the bits, all the subscribing. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm a bit shy right now. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's too much. Uh, that's too much, man. How's they say in the Bojack Horseman, right? Uh, we have here, I just wanted to point out in the chat, you guys have been extremely respectful. I appreciate you. You did a very good job in the chat. I was a bit scared, to be honest. I had two mods ready tonight to moderate the chat. Usually I only have one. And I brought two moderators uh, ready to block, ban, and remove a full content in the chat. To my knowledge, nothing at all had to be moderated tonight. So... This just goes to say this great community we have built over here. Uh, good round of applause to everyone in chat. You did very good. And I'm, uh, yeah, pizza confirms none. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. So thank you very much. <laughs> Lushi says cough, cough. Wait, did I miss anything, Lushi? Oh, I just don't stream. And someone said, <laughs> Aqua, thank you for the subscribe. You guys are awesome. I, I'm uh, I'm getting a little bit shy here. So we had a poll, a poll going on, not a pool, a poll or a poll going on. Do you think this debate was enlightening? Uh, first answer was very. I learned a lot. Second is not really. And third answer was I knew most of it. <laughs> Chicka chat. Thank you for the subscribe. This is this is going crazy. This is going crazy. 
six uh, percent of the audience said they, they the debate was not on lighting. Thirty six percent said very that they learned a lot, and sadly, six fifty six percent of the audience said they knew most of it already. Said that. Alu, what did I miss? Was it not that poll, man? Paul, pool, Paul. Pool, Paul. <laughs> Wait, you're laughing at my dad jokes, really? Somebody's laughing at them? No, no. Well, you did. No, no. Y you did. You did. Where's the I evidence? Have, I, I am. Well, I'm gonna clip it. I'm gonna clip no. it. No. And prove that my dad jokes sometimes work. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>